to deliver my apology, you must be braver than I am. Yeah, dude, what the heck, man? You coward? Go out and give her the letter. Don't even do it in a letter. Go talk to her yourself, you coward. Warning, this video may contain spoilers for this game because the content creator is an idiot and will not know what is and what is not a spoiler. If you wish to avoid major spoilers, please come back and view this after you have played the game. Also, this content is for entertainment purposes only. This is not a guide. Finally, this content creator is a trained professional idiot. You can and will do better in your own playthrough. <laughs> Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Jess on the Ava Gamer on Ava TV and welcome back to another one of my Far Cry 6 videos. When we left off last time, we were just causing a lot of havoc trying to take over the SFND bases and they're a little bit more trouble than they were worth to be honest. So I'm having a look here, and it's telling me that I need to talk to Lorenzo over here. I don't think this is a main mission. I was looking through the journal. But you know what? We're going to listen to it. So let's go over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. we got to pull this back up. All right, let's find it on the map where we got to do this. Where's Lorenzo? Okay, okay. What do we have marked right here? Is this Lorenzo, the first love? Yes, it is. All right, so we could actually fast travel all the way back to the Bandito's bar barracks. All the way back to El Este. It's been a while since we've been over here. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this mission. Perhaps this will give us enough experience so that we level up. And then we will get ourselves our next mission from, I believe it is going to be Juan. All right. So let's go up here upstairs. Let's go. And, of course, it'll be nice to be doing an actual mission instead of just, like, to wait, what the heck? I didn't press tab. <laughs> instead of actually just towing around. All right. It's very slow when you're in these bases. When I was your age, I lived every moment like it was my last. His mole or in whatever battle, that is on his forehead is very distracting. I just stared at the entire time, I swear. Oceans are deep. Love during La Revolution was like the battlefields we fought on. Complex and soaked in rum. I have wounded the hearts of countless women who wanted more from me during those days. Miguelina, sweet Miguelina. I committed a war crime with her heart. She was my first. When she said the word love, I ran away. You As coward! Such a coward. I he Today, admits it. He was a coward. As I take stock of the damage I've done, I realize I must make amends. I need you to bring this letter to her. Miguelina's mind is still at war with Gabriel Castillo and maybe a little bit with me as well. I tried to visit her, but she has built defenses around her wounded heart. Maybe my letter can change that. All right, so we're going to be delivering a love letter, are we? To deliver my apology, you must be braver than I am. Yeah, dude, what the heck, man? You coward? Go out and give her the letter. Don't even do it in a letter. Go talk to her yourself, you coward. Anyways, regrets. I have so many. Sweet Magdalena was the first woman I fell in love with during the Revolution of 1967. Hers was also the first heart I broke. The time is now to let her know that I am sorry. All right, we will accept and track this, but you know what? This really should be you doing this. I know you're an old man, which is no excuse for you to be a coward, like to continue to be to cower like this. All right, so we're going to have a look here on the map. All right, we'll mark that. Unfortunately, there's not like a quick way. To, can we, uh, uh, we can't airdrop there. We could airdrop there, but we're not going to be able to. All right, I guess we're going to have to go over there the old fashioned way. Uh, okay, so we can run up here. Oh, we could actually take a helicopter from over here. That's cool. We could perhaps wingsuit over. But you know what? I think with uh, with our track record, when it has to do with the wingsuits, I think this might be a little bit safer for us. So let's go ahead. Call for a plane? No, we want to call for... Wait, wait, wait. Is it going to be under the planes for our favorite? Yes, it is. Our favorite vehicle's right here. Where is it going to pop up? There it is. Right, Tio. Let's hop in there. All right, and we're going to be doing a little bit better than the last time we tried to take off with this thing with Marcus. We pulled it a little early, but that's fine. We're good. All right, there shouldn't be any anti-aircraft bases around here, so this should be smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. All right, who says that I should land this? And who says I should just bail and jump out for the for the epic explosion behind me with the slow motion uh, tracking and stuff like that for the action movie? Superhero landing on the ground and all that shenanigans. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet, but we're we're approaching the the location very rapidly, very rapidly indeed. There's a road right there, so I actually 
it, to, to try and land properly is a lot ballsier, so I actually might try that because I think it might be uh, might be better. Oh, wait, wait. Objective complete. All right, we've, we slowed right down. <laughs> I, I did it once, I swear. You have to really slow down and then, like, hover on the ground. I think you got to slow down and speed up and then, like, slow down and speed up and, and, and like, basically land it as smooth as possible. All right, fortunately, it spawned us really close here again. I thought it was going to bring us... Was there... There's tripwires that I just I I just walked through two tripwires like an idiot. Oh my god! I was like, what is that? Bring, bring, bring! Somebody making a phone call? Somebody calling me right now? All right, let's move her camera back up. Oh! She told we told us that she set up defenses. I forgot about that. All right, well we have to sneak in there then. All right, there's a zip line, so we can use the zip line. Oh my God! So okay, there's another trip line here. How do we defuse it? All right, we'll just go around it then. Come back, Lorenzo Yeah, I'm not with Castillo. I'm with. Oh my God! Are you freaking kidding me, lady? This lady's this lady's a lunatic. There's so this is the most like she's way better defended than any of these F and D bases. These F and D bases are a joke compared to this lady. All right. This is like uh, one of those movies where you uh, get to retry it over and over and over again until you finally succeed. All right, we made it past that, and then we go around this thing. Excellent. Oh God, proof. Come back. Come back, indeed. Did she go inside the building? I hear all this clicking. Oh, God. All right, we almost died, but we healed ourselves. I'm going to start looting her place if she's just going to be doing that. Which way did she go? How do I get in here safely? Last time it blew up there. I see this wire this time. Oh, God. Can I heal? Can I use another medicine thing right now? There we go. A gorilla of 67. That's another thing there. Oh, God. Oh my god, it does so much damage. Can I throw a baseball bat at this a baseball at this thing and make it blow up? All right, we're going to let ourselves heal up before we go. You can't catch me. No, I apparently I cannot. Let's uh throw a baseball. No, it didn't blow up. There we go. We blew that one up. Now we can maybe get in through here. There we go. I don't know how you're supposed to properly trip that, but uh, we shoot it. And we just heal ourselves and we break in that way. <laughs> Wait, crazy lady. Oh, my God. You are actually a lunatic. Okay, thank God that was just a smoke grenade. Whew, I thought she was nuts. Good thing it's not like an incinerary. All right, now she's ziplining. All right, hopefully, well, if we fall... Gosh. What am I stuck on? If we follow her, it should be the safe. She should lead us through the safe pass. Okay, apparently not. I have a letter from Lorenzo for you. Kill me! I'm a guerrilla. You're a guerrilla. Well, so am I. So would you just would you just listen to me, crazy lady? Come on! Oh my God! You're a lunatic. You're running through your own traps, lady. I have a letter from Lorenzo for you. You know what I, what I probably should have done is I probably should have pulled out my camera. Probably would have been able to show me all the, the good places to go. This lady's crazy. 
I have a letter for you. Get away! I understand why you're running from this guy. He's a coward. So you don't really want to be. Uh, you don't. You want to. You don't want to date him anyway. So I understand. But come on. Come on, lady. We don't both want to die here. She's got to fix the garden. Bro. That's hilarious. Oh no, where'd she go now? Oh god. Okay, well. Why is it not giving me the trip? Okay, it is giving me the option to disarm these. Excuse me? I'd rather be shot by Castillo's army! Miguel, okay, now you'll talk to me. Are you? I'm a friend of Lorenzo's. Are you one of his children? What? No. Look, I have a letter from him. A letter? Why didn't you just say so? <laughs> well, we tried. Three times. Lorenzo apologizing to me? My heart. I can feel it beat again. I'm carried on the wings of butterflies. Cool. I'm just Yeah, going I was going to say, uh, it's getting a little awkward out. for us here. Shh. I'm reading. You got anything else for us? Yarn story complete. The first love. All right. Well, this was a very awkward mission, but we did it. And we're going to get some experience for that. All right, we're level 11. We still got to get up to level 12, I believe. So let's see uh, Let's see if it suggests another mission. Oh, talk to Lorenzo. Lorenzo, I just delivered your letter to Miguelina. You couldn't warn me about all her booby traps. Dios mío, is she hurt? Is she I'm hurt? Fine. Thanks for asking. Miguelina's fine too. She's just trapped in the box, like a lot of you legends. I hope my apology will Trying to figure out the wingsuit. Now, Danny, please come back. I have another favor that needs favoring. Another okay, favor? Lawrence. All right, well, before we do another favor for you, mister, I'm going to be taking out this military base that we found along the way. Oye, Clara. Guess who just found where all the coffee is made in Yara? It's no joke, Danny. This is where the army forces farmers to give up their harvests or get thrown into the camps. Castillo grows rich from the profits and the people starve. You want to stop it? Take the oil powering the factory. And while you're at it, take the fucking factory too. Can we reach the key from here? A key to something. That's a good boy, right? Not the bad boy. All right, their I'll alarm system. Alarm. No more alarm system for you. We're being very quiet this time. I'd imagine this would set off some sort of alarm, but maybe not. Can I open this with my key card? Yes, I can. Alright, let's take all these things and stuff. What do we have here? Medicine. Alright, where is the... Honestly, we have enough ammunition anyways. What do we get here? We got an AK-47. Dang, that's a, that's a rifle I actually know the name of. <laughs> There's a flamethrower. I don't know if we've been discovered technically. I think we kind of have, but I don't. I think the game does will not count this yet. There's somebody right here. There we go. All right, let's see if it gave us a stealth requirement. I think that's one of the reasons why we have not reached the adequate level to get all of the main missions right now is because we're just running and gunning too much. 
So we didn't get any of the bonus experience for doing any of these other things. So let's see, uh, move our face cam out of the way. No alarm sounded, resources secured. Right on. So we got a little bit of bonus there, right on. Heavenly base captured. All right, I don't see my leveling going up. There it is, 300, is it enough? <gasps> We're just barely below, dang it. All right, so need, now we need to do something small and simple. All right, so we got some more yarn pesos and all that stuff. All right, 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 right. All right, let's check another mission, another journal here. We're just going to go up to the top. We'll, we'll go back to this dude, I guess. All right, because we know we can fast travel there. Uh, let's fast travel and talk to Lorenzo once again. So we gave him the letter, and now, let me guess, we have to, like, go and escort him to her or her to him. I don't know. It's going to be some some kind of, like... Love, uh, love mission, I'd, I'd imagine, between the two of them is very, love is in the air. We are a matchmaker in this episode. It's the theme we're going with. I see your sadness. El Tigre spirit lives on inside of you. Yo, don't be As bringing up aged, El Tigre. You El know Tigre he was my favorite. Wiser. It hurts. He wanted don't me bring to him face up. my mistakes. Now I must. I don't know if you know this, Danny, but our revolution was a bloodbath. I mean, every so single battles. one of these battles so has been a bloodbath thus widowed, far. Alone, yearning to feel something other than despair. I am responsible for countless victory children. I fought victory children. Oh, but I man. Was no father. Instead of doing the right thing, I ran off into the arms of the next woman. For decades, hundreds of mothers wrote me. Lorenzo, I am not your biggest daughters. fan right now. El Tigre, huge fan of him. Lorenzo, I you are a coward, mountain, and you are, I, just, I do not like you. So I don't know why I'm helping you right now. Being a bad <laughs> papa pulls my heart into the He's ground. a deadbeat dad, I leaving these women and these children on their own to fend for themselves. A little scared just sleeping around, being a sleazeball. That is why not, I not a big fan, letters. not a big fan. Just a couple to start. All right, let's see what it Can says here. please deliver oh. them? Yeah, I'll deliver some things for you. Of my children, ones their mother sent me. I don't need pictures of your you children. That's weird. One. You can figure out where they live with a quick glance. Oh, we need the pictures to be able to find them. Gracias, I get it now. Danny. All right, my victory children deserve to hear the words. I'm sorry. You need to make amends with my children, all of them, for years. I refuse to accept the responsibility of being their father. Now, I, in my twilight years, I twilight years, I must reckon with my cruelty and let them know I'm sorry with these letters. Oh my Either God! This guy just sends out letters to everybody instead of freaking just like going fun tracking them down. Himself. I get it. You're old, so you like you can't be doing it. Like there's seven, seven children. Oh my God, dude. Ugh. All right, let's pull up the map to see where they. Wait. It doesn't tell me where they, where I could possibly track them down. Oh no! How am I gonna find these? Well, send me photos to find them. Okay. Eventually, I'll get a. I'll eventually I'll get a text message. Uh, hopefully. Wait, where's the grappling spot? There it is. Eventually, he'll send me a text message, right? As soon as I like venture far enough away. Eventually, this old man. He texts like old men. Takes them forever to type a text message and probably send these photos and stuff, right? All right, we'll practice our wingsuit then. What's up, Lorenzo? I got someone to help me send you photographs. Hey, <laughs> he got somebody to help. That's hilarious. My children. There we go. Your telephone. We did it using this telephone. Got it. Thanks. Technology these days can do wondrous things. Yes, it can. When I was your age, when you took a photograph, you would have to develop the negative and make a print. That would take a week. Imagine waiting a week to see a photograph today. I know. Gotta go. Imagine a week to see a photograph today. I'm gonna have to wait at total six weeks to see my photos from my photo shoot. I only got to see one preview photo so far. And I have another week to see the remaining of the preview photos. So I know what it's like if you get a professional photographer. Yeah, it takes a bit. I gotta go kill a jaguar. Yeah, we got we got some business to do. Just stop talking to us, and we'll check the phone when you finish sending the damn photo. Oh my God, this guy talks so much. Are you done yet? Can I like skip this dialogue? 
I don't skip any of the dialogues, but that one I did want to. All right. Wait. All right. These are the seven photos of where they live, or what? Go to the uh, Go to the map. Did it put anything on the map for us? There's no way I'm gonna find all these children. Like what? How am I supposed to find these guys? All right. Uh, we'll blow this up too. That'll give us some experience. Are we level 10, 12 yet? Not quite. Dang it. We went and caught ourselves on fire. Wait, there's another bad guy here? No, there's not. Where? I see the red dot. Is he hiding over this little rock? Where? Oh, there we go. We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to run and gun, try to take out some more of these uh, vehicles, because that might get me to level 12. Because I think this mission, I don't like Lorenzo at all, and I think this mission's a bit of a lost cause, to be honest. Wait, wait, wait. Is this one of these things? Is this one of the pictures? There's, this is that, does it match up? I don't even know. All righty then. Uh, no, that's uh, not a bad guy at all. I was hoping to find a bad guy so I could... Actually, you know what? I wouldn't have gotten any experience from killing a guy on a horse anyways. You only get experience from killing their vehicles. All right. How... Normally, when we're, like, running around, there's, like... We get stopped nonstop. Oh, is this a checkpoint we can take over? Oh, heck yeah. There we go. That'll give us experience. All right. We're just going to get... Wait, we didn't even get damaged meat from that? What the heck, man? All right, I should have hopped on my uh, vehicle, but you know what? Oh, we haven't, there's, I think that's a checkpoint over there, and then there's an F&D base here. No, don't you dare set off any alarms. I don't know if I've been spotted yet. I think I have, to be honest. Where's this guy? There he is. Yep, yeah, definitely spotted. The cavalry's coming in. Somebody on a horsey. All right. How can we claim this area as our own? Oh, I'm locked in. No, never mind. Not locked in. If there's an exclamation mark, where's the exclamation mark? Oh, dear. New F and D caches revealed. Heck yeah! Is this an anti-aircraft thing? Hey, horsey! Aren't you glad I got rid of your brutal owner over there that was riding? All right. Oops. All right. There's another one. Got him. All right. Now where? Whoa, is this checkpoint? There it is. I see that flag there again. We should use our flamethrower to burn their fields and stuff. That guy's not paying attention at all. Oh, we can take out that vehicle. That will give us some experience. Sorry, civilian that was on that horsey. Oh, I thought I got both of them with that one shot. I was like, really? All righty then. How do I take over this flag? Is this not a checkpoint? There's a sign. Blow up that sign. Nope, didn't count. All right. All right, we'll blow that up. That'll get experience. Are we going to be level 12 off that? Rank up. There we go. Level 12. That's what we're waiting for. New weapons and gear available at Juan's Arms Dealer. Let's see what we just get for that. We are now a general. Heck, yeah, we are. All right, we're just going to blow this car up with our primary weapon right now. 
anyways, I think that's actually what I'm going to end the video on right now. I think we got this mission is a lost cause. We're going to be trying another mission in the next time. We're going to see if we're going to get a phone call from Juan soon. You know what? We might actually just go pay a visit to Juan. Juan. Back at the uh, original base where we started. And then perhaps he'll just give us a mission if we do that. Oh, we're getting attacked by these dudes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. These are bad coyotes. Bad coyotes. That finally blew up. Oh, no. He's biting our wrist. Punch him in the face. Swipe him with our machete. All right. Anyways, this has been a really quick video by Jess on the Ape Game on Ape TV. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys did, please leave this video a like. Comment down below for the algorithm. Put hashtag for the algo. I would really appreciate it. And, of course, I hope to see you guys. I'm getting attacked by a coyote again. Hope to see you guys new viewers and old in all my future videos. Make sure you subscribe so that you can actually see me once again. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye-bye. Click one of those two videos right now.